sure do miss it when Nintendo used to make good Metroid games. <sighs> All the RAM wasn't that bad, I admit. What? You did not just say that. We do not speak of that game. That is not a real Metroid game. That is a farce. We do not speak of... Greetings, my hatchlings. I return to you, finally, with yet another Metroid video. So today, I'm going to talk about the new Metroid games that were just released this year at E3 2017 Nintendo. Two new Metroid games were announced. We have the new Metroid Samus Returns for the new 3DS, which is coming out next month, September 15th. And then we have a new shocker, Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime 4, to be exact. So yes, I'm really excited right now. Um, a lot of you guys have been bugging me and nagging me to like look up the new Metroid games, the, the, new, the new trailers. I watched them, they look amazing. I'm actually really shocked that we are even getting a new Metroid game, or even actually two. I mean, we're getting two new Metroid games. Last year we got, like, duped. We got... I'm sorry. I can't, I can't say it. I will not say it. Those words will not mess them up. They are just a sin to the Metroid timeline. Um, I'm sorry. So anyway, um, we have two new Metroid games coming out, and I'm really excited. I'm really so pleased that, N that Nintendo has actually honored us and graced us with two real Metroid games. So yeah, been a long time almost since we've had like a real Metroid game. Uh, I know a lot of you don't like to recall the last two that just came out because Nintendo, like I said, duped us last year for the 30th anniversary, which is really special to me. In case you don't remember, I, I posted the one Metroid uh, video for the 30th anniversary because that was really special. I mean, Mario, Zelda, they get a whole bunch of new games for their anniversaries. They get remembered. Why not Metroid? So finally, Nintendo is making up to us. Thank you, Nintendo, for making up to us by releasing two new Metroid games. They're a little late, but I mean, thank you anyway. I'm just glad we're finally getting them. So I'm sure you guys are too, and um, one day I'm going to play them. So yeah. So let's talk about the new Metroid Samus Returns video game coming out for 3DS. So I first I think I should start off by saying that um, I've never really been a fan of the DS's or 3DS or extra large 5000 3DS nozzle super power to the fifth um, gigantic extra large yeah hip versions or whatever you get what I mean. I'm not really a big fan of the gameplay. I've heard enough about the Metroid Hunters uh, gameplay for the original DS which I have right there and um, I actually haven't played it yet because I've heard a lot of the controls are really wanky and really hard to to do and to control, so I'd rather not mess around with it. I, 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 you know, I've got emulators too. But yeah, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, so that's what kind of turned me off to the new Metroid Samus Returns, because I know it's basically going to be for the new 3DS system, which I honestly was not even, I haven't even purchased a new 3DS because I wasn't going to buy, you guys know Nintendo, they're jacking up prices, ridiculousness, and let's face it, their stuff is really expensive nowadays, and I don't really want to drop like a couple hundred thousand in this 3DS, I'm not gonna play unless there's a Metroid game for it. I mean, I don't care about any other games, but honestly, but Metroid, I'll be honest. And um, I'm sure there's a lot of cool games released for it, but I really don't care about Nintendo systems unless there's Metroid involved. Just gonna put it out there. Maybe a lot of you guys are the same, but I'm not gonna waste my time and drop a couple hundred dollars on a system I'm not gonna use. So if I'm gonna buy the system, I want it to be worth it. So I'd also like to point out too that someone linked a picture. The news got out that there is a Metroid custom 3DS coming out with Samus on it made just for Metroid Samus Returns. So I was really excited about that, now I just have to buy a 3DS. You know, I don't want one, but I'm going to definitely buy one now, because, come on, it's a custom Samus 3DS, you know I need it, my collection. It's just, it's special, and I'm gonna buy it with the game. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they release, like, a special, like, boxed edition, like, package, you know, where it comes with the game, the 3DS, and a custom box or stickers or whatever, you know, just all that merch together. I hope that they jam-pack something together for, like, 100 or something. I would definitely buy it. I'm gonna kind of wait maybe till last second. Maybe that's not a good idea, but hopefully they do something like that. That's, you know, kind of a good idea, like they did for the Metro Prime uh, bonus bundle. They had a GameCube, Samus, and then they had Metro Prime, Metro Prime 2 Echoes with it. I wish I'd have got that, but I didn't. I was a kid, I'm mad. Because that'd be really cool for a collection. 
So I hope that, that, that they do that, because that'd be awesome. So let's talk about the gameplay. Um, the gameplay from what I saw from the trailer, which is like a minute something, it looks pretty good. And from what other people have tried playing at the Treehouse Nintendo E3 thing, it looks pretty good. Um, I will say though that, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the 3, 3DS designs where you have to like look down, the wonky, you know, like I just, I haven't even tried a DS yet and I'm kind of like intimidated by it, I'll be honest. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. But um, from what I've seen, the, the graphics look really cool. Um, Samus's armor looked like it changed a lot, which was kind of cool. But I kind of, honestly, I don't want to be too negative. But I kind of wish that they would just... I hope that the graphics will get better for the 3DS. I hope maybe it's just like a demo. Maybe they'll improve them just a little bit better. When you know how you buy the game, it looks different than the actual like, trailer. Hopefully they'll kind of update the graphics a little bit. Because, I mean, it's 2017 now. It still kind of looks like that blocky 2000 whenever Hunters came out. You know, that's like five, seven years ago. It's, let's kind of catch up with the times now. Come on, we have like VR and realistic graphics. Let's kind of make Metro more realistic. That's hoping, that's, I hope that's what the Prime's gonna be like. Because, you know, there's all this new technology in VR and Nintendo Switch, whatever. You get it. Um, so anyways, um, so yeah, the videos look awesome. I'm really impressed. I'm just so glad that we have a new game coming. Um, let's also talk about the amiibos that are going to be sold fit. There are apparently new Metroid amiibos, which I'm really excited for, even though I don't really get the point of amiibos. I honestly never even opened mine, so they're in the back over there. I'm not going to open them, of course, I'm going to keep them in collectible condition. So we're going to have a Samus Armored amiibo from Samus Returns, and we're going to have a Metroid inside of its capsule. And that one honestly looks cool. I heard it's gonna be squishy too, like my squishy. So I'm really excited about that because I just love how they add the, you know, the effect. I love the squishiness. I love it. It's so addicting to feel. So yeah, I'm really excited about those because I can't wait to have those in my collection. I have enough room back there. Gonna need to make some room. Um, I'm sure they'll look great in everybody's shelf, unopened. But yeah, um, let's, I'm kind of excited to see how those are gonna work and what they're gonna be able to do. I heard that you can unlock hard mode or something with them, or maybe you don't have to. I heard something like that. We'll see. So yeah, the amiibos look awesome. Can't wait to get those. Definitely getting those on my on my, on my list. Christmas list, hopefully. We'll see. Let's also talk about the Metroid Samus Returns 3DS North American and European versions. Now, according to what I've seen online, what was just released, the North American version is kind of going to get a not so exciting, glorious version. We're apparently going to get the video game with a soundtrack and maybe a keychain. That's the North American version from what I've seen online. I don't know if it's for real. Maybe it was a joke. I don't know. Or just some fan-made thing. But I think it's for real. Um, they're getting- Europe is getting a legacy edition where they're getting the game, a uh, keychain, all this cool stuff with it. I'll have to look at the picture. You guys will see. And I'm just like, you guys are so lucky. I'm so jealous. I would love to have that edition, but I don't live in Europe, so you guys are lucky. Europeans get everything cool. But anyway, so yeah, those are going to be cool. Make sure to watch out for those wherever you live. Make sure to pre-order. You know how people are. Once again, Evil Scalpers, if you go out there and you buy all the cool um, amiibos, all these collectible awesomeness, and you don't leave me any, I'm going to find you. I'm Bounty Hunter. Don't forget, I will find you, and I will hunt you, and I'm going to take your Metroid merch, because I'm saying this, and that's what I do. But anyway, so that's really cool. We're gonna get a lot of cool um, custom Samus Returns awesome merchandise that I'm just like, finally, Samus is finally starting to get Metroid action figures, like a whole bunch of awesome merchandise from Nintendo. So thank you, Nintendo, for finally honoring Metroid. You know, it's been a while since um, Metroid Primes have been released, and those were the best, let's face it. And that's been a while since a uh, good Metroid games released, like about a decade, and uh, since like, I don't know, other M I'm neutral on, and- <laughs> Okay. Sorry. The farce we did not speak of. Anyways. Okay, so now let's talk about the new Metroid Prime 4 coming out. Now, the Metroid Prime 4, I, honestly, I am the most excited for. When I heard that there was a Metroid Prime 4 and it showed that the logo and the music, I'm like, oh my god, goosebumps galore. Oh, the excitement. And um, that, honestly, I was not even expecting a new Prime. I kept t telling myself, and you guys were commenting, and I was replying, like, you guys are asking me, what do you think if they're gonna make a new Prime 4? And what do you think about the new, n n another Prime? And I kept reading comments everywhere and stories and people asking me, or you guys talking amongst other Metroid fans, like, are we gonna get another Prime? Because I would love another Prime. And I think we should get another Prime. I'm looking for another Prime. Honestly, to me, I wasn't expecting another Prime because if you think about it, what about the Prime Trilogy? 
am I the only one that realizes this, that the Prime Trilogy is done? I mean, don't get me wrong, the Metro Prime Trilogy was my most favorite game. I love it to death, I play it all the time. It was Metro Prime was my first Metro game ever, and I love the Trilogy Collection Edition in the metal case, you know. So, if, but then, if we already have a trilogy, why would we want another Prime when the trilogy has already been made? You, can you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is, it's kind of, the new Metro Prime 4 is gonna kind of completely destroy the, the purpose of a trilogy. So I've got this extra collection trilogy edition, but then I've got another Prime game coming out. It's kind of like, was this the trilogy even completed? Or did Nintendo just give in to the desires of its fans? You know, because a lot of you wanted new Prime. Personally, I wasn't expecting new Prime at all. I thought, no way. We're gonna get like another remake or something, because everybody wants remakes. Honestly, I didn't even want a remake. I didn't want another Prime. I think the Prime story is done. We defeated Dark Samus, the story is done. Why would we want to continue the story of Prime when it's done? Now, if it's an in-between, if it's like in between the timeline of the Primes, first one, second, and third one, that's badass, and I'm looking forward to it. But if it's a continuation of Dark Samus, if she returns, I'm gonna be pissed off. You're dead, Dark Samus died. So you guys get it? I'm not trying to like say that the Prime 4 is stupid. I honestly am so excited for that game, I can't wait. And I hope it's gonna be amazing graphics, but we'll get to that later. So yeah, um... The Prime 4 is what I'm really looking forward to. I guess I'm, su I'm guessing it's supposed to be for the um, Nintendo Switch, which I'm also gonna have to buy too. I honestly haven't even bought a Nintendo Switch yet because expenses and I, there's no games I want to get for it. But I don't know. I haven't played the new Nintendo systems. Um, if you guys, uh, I would like to know what it's like. If you guys could tell me, like in the comments or something, what if you have a uh, Nintendo Switch? Is it any good? Like, is there any good games? Because I've never played it. Is it fun to play? Is it easy? I heard the new Breath of the Wild was badass. New Zelda game, of course. Um, I heard there's a lot of Mario games for it. I honestly, I haven't even bought a Wii U yet, um, so I, I'm so behind on Nintendo and merchandise and video game consoles. I'm like such, a, I'm more of an old school gamer. I still prefer the old fashioned video games, like from, I still like the 90s Super Nintendo era. I still love a lot of 8-bit. I still play a lot of GameCube era games. As you may know, I'm, st I'm just, that's those ones I grew up with, so I stick to those more so than I do new Nintendo. New Nintendo's, I'll be honest, I was gonna make maybe a separate video for this uh, topic, but I feel like Nintendo's become a little childish, and it's not as badass as it used to be. Like, I was just uh, the other day playing Twilight Princess and um, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, and I was comparing them and all those games together, and uh, Shadow, the Edgehog, whatever, you guys can piss on that game all you want. I honestly loved it when I was a kid, even though it was kind of stupid, I know. Those three games, that era, I was playing those games were so badass. Like, you gotta admit, they were dark and they were kind of edgy and serious. Like, they were cool. Now Nintendo's going to, you know, freaking Metroid, the Chibi Land, Knuckles on steroids, and Zelda's ass. I mean, come on. I mean, there was a whole picture of Zelda's ass and all over the internet. I just kind of was like... What's happened to you, Nintendo? I'm sorry, I'm more of an old school gamer. I prefer the old Nintendo more than I do the new. I don't like, care about Nin Mario Super Wedding Party 5000 Rabbit Power to the fourth. And I don't really care about, um, I don't know, Zelda the anime. I, I don't know, I just prefer the old Nintendo because it's what I grew up with. Maybe it's nostalgic reasons, I don't know. I don't hope I don't sound like one of those nostalgic 90s kids that are annoying. But anyway, um, back to the topic. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to Metro Prime 4. I'm so excited. I hope that they make... I really am hoping that the graphics are super cool and HD. And I'm hoping maybe one day we'll get a VR Metroid. Virtual reality. Be like, whoa, this is so cool. Whoa. Maybe a custom arm cannon for us to like aim at their enemies. That'd be awesome. But that's just an idea. that probably never happen. I mean, but I should. I guess I shouldn't complain because Nintendo's finally giving us what we want. So thank you, Nintendo, once again. Um, so yeah. Um... What do you guys think about the new Metro Prime 4? I know a lot of you were like, Did you hear? Did you hear? And I'm like, yes, like, stop it. No, I'm kidding. I love you all. Um, so yeah, Metro Prime 4 is what I'm really looking forward to. I cannot wait to buy the Samus Returns. Hopefully they have like a bundle, or like it comes, like I said, in a custom box, and hopefully they have a Metro Prime 4 bundle, which will be pretty awesome. And a custom box, like a, you know, like a special Nintendo Switch edition. Maybe, maybe they'll do, maybe not. Maybe I'm asking for too much. Um, but anyway, also another topic I don't want to discuss. Maybe I'm just dumb and behind on Nintendo news, but did anybody, does anybody ever wonder what happened to the NX? 
whatever happened to the Nintendo NX, the new system that was supposedly supposed to, everybody was hyped for in 2015 and or 16, like all the rumors of the NX, where's that? I feel like that we got the Nintendo Switch last year in place of the NX. Is the Nintendo Switch supposed to be the NX? Am I just dumb? I feel like we totally missed out here. What happened? Where's the rumors? Like, you don't hear them anymore. It's always just, Nintendo Switch, yeah. And, um, you know, awesome stuff like that. So, so yeah, um, those are just my thoughts on the new games. You guys have been waiting for a response and a reaction, and I'm honestly stoked, and I can't wait to see what they're gonna be like. And the prices, I'm still, I'm going online looking for pre-orders, but I, there's still this instinct in me that wants me to wait. Wait for it to, like, release a bundle or something, just in case you don't, like, end up going out buying the game in stores for 20 or 30 bucks, just the normal game. Then you found out, oh, it comes in a box that, can't, that comes with the soundtrack or keychain. Oh, wait, no, actually, you missed out on the bundle that's only released at this time. You could have bought... And then you have, like, three different games, and then some scalper comes and takes everybody's glory and fun, and they ruin everybody's lives. So, yeah, um, there's that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new Metro games, and if you're excited. And, um, yeah, just let me know any information about the NX or the new 3DS. If I'm missing out, because I have, I'm honestly behind in Nintendo updates. I don't even really follow, I don't even really watch E3 anymore, because I kind of gave up, I guess you could say. I'm sorry, but I kind of have. I just don't really follow the E3 or Nintendo anymore. Every now and then I'll check, like, Metro Database or Nintendo, uh, on YouTube, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, but it's always kind of the same Mario, Zelda, new games. I'm like, oh, please, they have, like, their 100th game already, and I'm just like, what about us, Metroid fans? We're left behind. But yeah, sorry if I sound like a hipster. I kind of am, I guess. Uh, Metroid hipster. Yeah. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments, or what, you know, any opinions you have about the new games. If you're gonna get them, if you're gonna get the Amiibos, any cool special deals or rumors, let me know in the comments, and, um, I will see you next mission. Thank <laughs> you.